Righteousness from the God of our salvation. This is the generation of them that seeketh him, that seek his face. Lift up your head, O ye gates, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, mighty unto battle. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. The King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadows of death, I will feel no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and my staff, they comfort me. Thou prepared a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us say amen. amen. Listen, we're going to go by a few rules in the house today. Amen. amen. We're going to practice this safe distance. Amen. And I was told that if you're going to use the restroom two at a time, use the restroom. Amen. Amen. But listen, we're going to have a home going celebration. How about that? How about that? We, we're going to make a joyful noise in this house. I will be the MC. I will be conducting this. So if anybody got anything to say now, raise your hand. And I'm still going to overlook it. Amen. We're going to go as following on the program. As following. We're going to have a scripture reading by Ella Anthony Floyd, Old Testament. Let us all stand standing all over the room. The Old Testament reading will be coming from Isaiah, the 40th chapter, and the 28th verse. And it reads, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, 
fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. I'm standing in front of the New Testament. Let's say, man, it'll be coming from the book of 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 5. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, and a house not made with hands eternal into heavens. For in this we groan, honestly desiring to be clothed upon with a house which is from heaven. If so be that, being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in the tabernacle of the groan, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that had wrought us to the self-shame things is God, who also has given unto us a earnest of spirit. Therefore we are always confident, knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. I read you 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, 1 through the 8th verse. May God add a blessing to the reason of his word. Now we're going to have remain standing for a prayer by Minister Mitch Floyd. Amen. Let us look unto the Lord. Father in heaven, God, we thank you today because you're sovereign. God, we thank you today because you are a provider. God, we thank you today because you are the lifter of our heads, God. God, we thank you today, dear Lord, just for your peace. Even in the midst of not understanding some things, Father God. We can lean on you today, Father God, for you told us in your word to trust you with all of our heart and lean not to our own understanding, God. You said in all of our ways, acknowledge you and you shall direct our path, God. <clears throat> so today, God, we ask for your direction, God. And God, even for us that have bowed down heads today, Father God, that may be going through the morning experience, God, there's a promise in your word even for that. For you said, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted, God. Yes, sir. So, God, we expect your comfort today, God, because we know you to be a man that you shall not lie, nor the son of man that you shall repent, God. God, have thine own way today, God. God, you are our help, God. You are our strength, God. And you said the joy of the Lord is our strength, God. You said in our weakness, your strength is made whole, God. So have your way today, God, in the name of Jesus, God. In this celebration, God, we come against anything that would disrupt this, disrupt this celebration today, God, in the name of Jesus. All we want to do, God, is to glorify you as we memorialize our grandmother, our aunt, God, our mother today, God. We want you to get the glory, God, because we know, God. We know. We know, God. We know that that's what she would want, God. We know that that's what she would want, Father God. So today, God, we'll lift up our hands because you're worthy of us lifting up our hands, God. And when we lift up our hands, God, we surrender our will for your will today, God, because it's truly about you, Father God. It's all about you, God. You knew the beginning of our grandmother, Bertha Tucker. You knew the beginning, and when you started, Father God, you knew the end, God. You already had it in mind, God, for you are the Alpha and you are the Omega, God. God, you feel everything in between, God. 
So God, even as we shed tears on today, God, you promised us that you'll bottle our tears, God, even before the tissue can touch the tear, God, because you are God. And we thank you today, God, because your promises, God, we can lay hold on them things, God, because your promises are yea and amen in Christ Jesus, God. So today, God, I even pray for a salvific experience for anybody in this place, God, that may not know you for the pardon of their sin, God. I pray in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, that if you got to do it through worship, God, convict them through worship, God. God, if you got to do it through the word, convict them through the word, God, in the name of Jesus, because you said every knee will bow and every tongue shall confess, God, that you are Lord, God, and you are coming back for your people, God. So, God, get the glory today, God. We didn't come to play games, but we came to give you glory. And it's in Jesus' name that we do pray. And everybody say, amen. 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 Come on, give God a hand praise in here. What a prayer, what a prayer. Making ready for the choir. New life, everybody, great choir. Let us say amen.
16, 4 to the throat, the Reverend Joseph E. W. Lyles, Pastor, Fort Washington, Maryland. Letter of condolences to the family of Mrs. Bertha Lee Tucker. It is with your sad, great sad, that the Fort Foot Baptist Church family extends heartfelt condolences to Mr. Alan Floyd, Mr. Ryan, and Ms. Trevia Newell, Masters Christian Newell, and family on the passing of Mrs. Bertha Lee Tucker. Life may be hard to deal with the emptiness that you are left to face without the presence of your loved one. But our God is the Father of compassion, mm -hmm. the God of all comfort. Yes, he is. So be assured in these words found in Psalms 46, 1. God is our refuge yes, and strength, a very present help in trouble. Expressions and emotions of grief are normal for such a time as this. We pray that God will miraculous be to you the God of all mercy and comfort, and that he will lead you and your family through these difficult days of mourning and bereavement. During this time, you will find God's love and the day and the many wonderful memories of him to be a great source of comfort, peace, and healing. On behalf of the First Lady, Associate Ministers, Trustees, Deaconess, and the Fort Foot family, we are praying for you and your family during this time of bereavement. We are here for you emotional, we are here for you emotionally, spiritually, and physically. We love you and may you find souls in the caring prayers of others and comfort in the memories of your heart. In love and sincere sympathy, Reverend Dr. Joseph W. Lyles. I have one more, but I'm going to give it to the family. May the Lord bless each and every one of you. Amen. Say amen. amen. God bless you. God bless you. Acknowledgement. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. I'm going to say that again. Let the church say amen. Let the church. Amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. This is for you. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. To all whom honor is due, to Pastor William, Pastor Bush, and to all of the elders, to all of the saints of God, and to my family. Bertha will say these words We are blessed. Amen. Amen. I said, She will say, We are blessed. Amen. The last conversation we had. She looked at me and said, Willie, you look pretty good. I said, yes, for old man. Amen. Bertha and I have been appointed, even she was one of the first person that I would know. Amen. For over 70 years. 
I've been knowing Bertha. When I first moved from Dermot to Little Rock, I stayed with Bertha and my brother. She made sure that I went to school. She made sure I looked the best. Cause Bertha believed in things being the best. She said, I want the best for my family. She made sure her children had the best. Amen? That was the type of person that Bertha was. I can remember when she was working the jobs that she worked before she got into the medical field working at the hospital, she did housework. And she would work three jobs to get what she wanted. Amen? I can remember when they first built, I'm going to be through in a minute. When they first built their new house, watch me. She said, the Lord had blessed us to build a new home. And no one had lived in this house before we did. She said, I'm so happy. Amen? But a few days ago, I'm finna close this one. But a few days ago, what happened? Out of all the years of, of working in the church, she was building another house. Amen. I said she was building another house. Bertha was not a very good singer. But she would try to sing, I'm sending up my timber. Every day. Bless her little heart. She was not a person that held a good tune. But God don't listen to the tune. But he listened at the words of the song. That there is a message in every song. And what she was saying, then I'm sending of my temple. I'm praying. I'm, I'm building on my heavenly home. Oh, come on, come on, preacher. You see, we are not here to stay. Yes, we all must go this way. Oh. Amen. I said, we all must go this way because the blessing of the Lord is out of this world. Hey. Praise God. You cannot receive the blessings of God on this earth. There's something that we just have to do. We're going to have to leave here. But just in case you're not ready, the time is now. I'm talking to my family now. I said the time is now to get ready. The Bible didn't say get ready, but it says what? Be ye also ready, for you know not the hour that the day that the Son of Man come. He come as a thief in the night. A few days ago, Bertha. Simmons, Floyd, Tucker transitioned from her earthly home come on, come on. to her heavenly home. You see, absent from the body is present with the Lord. This is just a, this is just a body here, but the spirit is resting with God. Amen. So Bertha has transitioned from this world of sin, from this world of trouble. She don't have to worry about the cares of this world, but she is resting with the Lord. Praise God. As I close, we will learn, if you
you study your Bible, the Bible says, I heard the sister say, let not your heart be troubled. Amen. He believeth in God. Believe also in me. And in my father's house, there are many mansions. Woo! Bertha has moved into her new home. A house that will not be built by the hand of man. Woo! Praise God. And one of these days, we will all be there if we live right. I praise his name. As I close, the scripture said, Be thou faithful unto death, and thou shalt receive a crown of life. When we see Jesus, I say, when we see Jesus, let the church say amen. Come on, give God a hand raise. His word. Lord, come with a song. And receive it by saying, God bless.
Mr. Dennis Miller, and Miss Mimi Sebastian. She was preceded in death by her parents, William Simmons and Victoria Lincoln. Her brother, Houston Simmons, her sister, Lavelle Jackson, and two children, Virginia Arnold and Calvin Floyd. With sympathy and the loss of your loved one, life is a journey of sweetness and sorrow, of yesterday's memories and hopes for tomorrow, of pathways we choose and detours we face with patience and humor, courage and grace, of joys that we share and of people we've met who have touched us in ways we will never forget. As you go through this time of sadness, may you know in your heart how very much others care. Love Stephanie Murphy and family. At a time when words are hard to find, just want you to know you're in my thoughts and prayers with sympathy. Love you both, Amy. With sympathy for the loss of your mom, her voice will echo in memories you hold. Her smile will warm you through stories you told. Her love will touch you in spirit each day. Her life will be treasured in beautiful ways. Pray you're comforted by memories and held close in God's love as you breathe. Love Gloria and Mitch and family. Thinking of you and the loss of your mother. There is love that will live forever, and there are memories that will shine through the sorrow. May the wonderful memories of your mother's love be with you and comfort you at this time. With deepest sympathy, Thomas and Katia A. Comfort, strength, hope. For right now and all the days ahead, wishing you strength and peace with sympathy. Love, Jackie. Expression of gratitude. Words can express the gratitude we have for the acts of kindness rendered to the family of Bertha Tucker during this difficult time. The family would like to thank Mr. Training Arnold for all that he has done for our mother and grandmother, for the countless days and years that he has been there, taking care of business and being our personal financial advisor. Your service and love will never be forgotten. May God bless you and keep you. Additionally, we'd like to thank Mr. Dennis Miller for simply being there for our mother and grandmother, checking on her and just being an extra body. Lastly, we would like to thank everyone for the visits, calls, prayers, florals, and cards. We sincerely appreciate it. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance unto you and give you peace. Come on, let us say amen. 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 Further for cars. Cars can uplift you when you get your head down and make you hold your head up. Come on, look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Is this a home going celebration? Because that's what it is. Come on, make a short for noise in there. You like quiet is coming again. But I just see my wife go take my grandbaby to the restroom. I just looked at her and said, he could hold it. <laughs> he could have held that. <laughs> Papa would have made him hold it. <laughs> but grandma would take him out. Come on, quiet. Come on, quiet. We be ready for the preacher. I want to hear the preacher. I want to hear the preacher. I want to hear the preacher. Come on, quiet.
that. How many believe that there was a laugh? Laughter is good for the soul. We don't have to fall all out. God is God can give you joy when it looks like there's no joy. Huh? The Bible said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And how many know that God can give you strength in this house? I tell everybody, today it might be this family, but next week it will be somebody else's family. Can I tell you about the devil angel is still your house? Come on, honey. Say amen for the quiet.
care where I met her at. Boy, come here. You know who named you? I said, yes, ma'am. What's my name? I said, ain't Bert. <laughs> she did not want you to forget Amen. who she was. Amen. Every time she saw me, it was the same question that she had. I kept saying, ain't Bert. Must be losing my mind or something. <laughs> she keep telling me that she know. Do I know who named me? I said, ain't Bert. You named me. But she would just wanted me to know that. That she named me Terry Lynn Floyd. I always say I hated that name. <laughs> but I didn't tell her birthday. <laughs> because to her, she done a good job naming me. And I let her believe that she did that good job. I told my daughter, I said, baby, you got a good name because you named after your daddy. And I said, I wish ain't birth to see you and ask you who named you. <laughs> my two minutes is up. Two minute expression. Feel free. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said, I thought something was wrong in here. She said, look, 
because you never know what you're right. going to be taught. So I'd like to say to my siblings, my brothers, get closer. Mom's not here anymore. We have to go on her memories now. But we have each other. And she would want us to be close with each other. She planted the seed with my father to get us where we are. So let that seed grow. Get into a church, the ones that are not church. Amen. Because that's what she would want us to do. Amen. She would want us to pull together and be close and give God the praise. Give him the honor. Yes. So with that being said, I'll take my seat. I know my two minutes are up. No, 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 no. no, no, no. And I can talk four minutes. My father, Dad, I love you. I give homage to my father. He is in the house and I love you, Dad. I love you. God be 
the glory who has done great things for us. To Pastor Williams, to Elder Floyd, to all the ministers that grace the pulpit, to all the officers, members, and friends, and to this family, yes. to all the Miller, Akins, and Prophet extended family. Well. Seeking first okay. the kingdom of God all right, and, all and all of his righteousness. Come on, come on. And he said, I'll give you, uh -oh. I'll give you all, right. all these other things. And I just for a few minutes want to do a walk down memory lane. A walk down memory lane in regards to the celebration and life and legacy of my friend, my sister in Christ, and my papa dog. First of all, as you know, she loved the Lord. And from that love, extended love to her family and humanity, as it already been stated. She was a phenomenal woman. She was an entrepreneur, a caregiver for others. She was my sister in Christ. But above all, she was my neighbor. And I just want to share with you a very Interesting, she loved young people, whether you knew it or not. Amen. I had a grandson in my house that was walking on the other side of the street. And as you know, Miss Tucker would tell you what she thought. Amen. And she took a liking to him. And he always wanted to buy her her money. <laughs> but guess what? She said, Linda, I told that boy. <laughs> you need to get you a job. <laughs> I'm going to loan you my money. And if you don't pay it back, uh -oh. I'm coming over there and get my money to you for the job. <laughs> but guess what? With Miss Tucker's help, she didn't give up. He wouldn't work. But thank God, with her having faith in him, he joined church. Oh. He's working. Driving trucks, and he was home just the other day. He said, Evan, if I didn't have to go back off of downtown, I would be there. But I want you to know she made a difference in his life. To God be the glory. The last thing I'm going to let them talk. She I'm a ghost of it. She loved my cookie. Yeah. Baked pig feet. Pizza now, I won't dip and say something. <laughs> <laughs> she really covered it all. This is because of your friend, family. I mean, your friend. I'm going to miss her. So I represented today with one of her hats. I was one of her characters.
same shoes so well you have set with nice feet. Amen. Somebody says she wore nice clothes. She wore nice clothes. She she lived and did what she really enjoyed doing, and she got the things she enjoyed. Am I right? I, I, I'm gonna go somewhere in a little while, but it's nothing wrong with you wearing nice clothes. If you work and you got the money to buy it, you all wear something nice. Right, but the truck don't get all the ladies in the world. She's the industrial world. And if somebody says she loves her children, and I'm going down here with you, you said it, but I already did this with me. Mother Trump and Lord and I say, Mother Trump and Lord. She always talked to me about her family. Well, well, now every family, you know, we can say some negative things about every family. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, sometimes she said, uh, somebody need to shape up. You know, she might say, oh, but that's what it is. Somebody need to shape up. Am I right about it? But don't we say it? We were a children sometimes. We look around and say, he need to shape up. But in the end, we love him anyway. Yeah. And she loved him too. So family, I want you to know that. I know you know it, but I want you to know that I know about it too. Yeah. Not only did she love her children, her family, but many times she would tell me, she's a pastor. Well, you know, she could talk to me the way she wanted to. To her, I was just a little boy anyway. It didn't matter how old I got. She still talked to me the same way I was a little boy anyway. But she told me many times, she said, I love my church family. But the thing that really troubled her on that was, she would often, t often tell me, I love my church family, but I just don't seem to be able to do all I'd like to do. For the church. That's what she told me. And I told her, Mama, don't worry about that. I said, Because the Lord knows what's in your heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then there's a scripture that came to me, and this scripture uh, is in Isaiah, Isaiah 1 and 19. Yes, sir. It said, If you be ready, he shall be fed of me. So I told her, no, you may not be able to do those things, all of those things you want to do. Yeah. But if you just will, yeah, yeah. God will yeah, yeah. accept it. Uh -huh. All you got to do is be real. Now I told you I'm going to be up here long, so let me read the scripture. Because I don't want you to leave here and say, that, that pretty good even for the scripture. <laughs> well, I just read it one time. <laughs> In the book of St. Matthew, sixth chapter, verse 19 through 21, lay not up for yourselves treasures of earth. I'm going to ask you 
your question. And then, after a word or two, I'm going to my seat. My question is, where is your dream? Come on, come on. Where is your dream? Don't worry about Brother Trump, but where is your dream? Uh -huh. Amen? See, Jesus had to talk to these people. Jesus let them know that we that we 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 lay treasures up here in the world and forget about we have. Yes, sir. All we can do is now we have. Amen. Good to have nothing said. But what I want to speak to you about is see where your treasure is. When we talk about a treasure, treasure is that that you love so much. Whatever it is that's so important to you. Whatever it is that's so dear unto you. That's your treasure. But then the Bible says, wherever your treasure is, that's where your heart is. You know, I hear people say, well, don't charge that. You all know what they say. To my heart, and just charge it to my head. And then I hear people say, well, I wasn't there, but my heart was there. We have to be careful about that. You knew where you were, you enjoyed what you were doing and everything. That's where you are. Oh, I'm right, right? So, family and friends, let's think today. I can really preach, but uh, if y'all want to hear me preach, y'all can come back here. Y'all have to come back here and hear me preach. But I'm just trying to say uh, some words of encouragement to you now. Leave you have your treasures in here. See, your treasures down here. Yes, sir. All that we accomplish. All right. Yes, they are great and they help us. But if we know the Lord calls us. We can't take it with us. When the Lord calls us, he's not calling all this stuff we have. Come on. But he's calling us. And let me tell you something now. Don't, don't, don't feel bad. Don't feel like when the Lord calls you, you have nowhere to go. Because the Lord has already fixed it. He has fixed it for those who love him and obey him. Yes, sir. They have a place to go. He has fixed it for those who don't love him and won't obey him. They have a place to come. You're right, sir. And don't feel bad because whatever place you go, you're going to be there for eternity. Come on. The further in heaven, you don't have to worry about where I'm going to be here alone. I'm going to be here forever because the further in heaven, I'm going to be there forever. Praise William. Well, praise God. I'm not trying to make nobody shout. I just want us to think about where is our trip. We talk, we are good. Sometimes we talk on the mountaintop. But we live down in the back. Where is your trip? Yes, sir. Get all you can down here. I tell people to learn all you can. We don't can or know. Because there's a lot of things you learn you don't need to do. I can look at a person and learn a lot of things from watching them. I, I, I'm not stepping on my soul. The man don't mean to. I realize that I don't have to be on drugs to learn drugs bad for it. Oh, I got to do is watch the world is on. Oh, that's in the I feel like I'm preaching today. Yeah. No. So where is your tree? Come on. Where are we we find out that some are trading? Come on, Wayne. Come on. Ooh. In our children. <laughs> some are trading. <laughs> in our own people. Yes, sir. Some are trading. <laughs> the job that we have. But one of you will be the Lord is coming back. Yeah. And when he comes back, he's not going to ask you how much money you got in the bank. Yeah. He's not going to worry about the kind of car you drive. But in your life, well, he's your life. Thank you.
Because the most important why question that I heard was when I read about Jesus hanging on the cross. Yeah. I, I read what Jesus said, my God. Yeah. My God. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Why? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that for Satan. Yeah. So all I want you to know is that you're not forsaken. Come on. You haven't been you forgot. God allows us to go through some things. Yeah. But we don't want to be selfish. We want to hold to us what God is ready to come to you. Be encouraged. Stay with the Lord. And most of all, stay together. Yeah. 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 Stay together. See, I want to talk to family. Stay together. Can't you get angry? You get upset with each other. We all do. But stay. So I said, trust in, said, trust in the Lord of all that heart. Need not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. And not we, but He. We are P A T H S. That means all. God bless you today. I'm doing.
accepted Christ, if they're alive, they're blessed. So we're blessed. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God to take out of this world our deceased, our good friend, our mother Bertha Tucker, we commit to her body, to earth, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming in glorious majesty mm -hmm. to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. At this time, on the floor, I will lead us in prayer. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. First of all, we say thank you for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you're about to do. Thank you, Lord, for grace and mercy. Most of all, we thank you for salvation. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we ask you to bless this family and the world within a whole. God, you know our needs. Oh, God, you know what we really need. In the name of Jesus. First, we say, save that unsaved and forgive sin everywhere in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch us heart. Touch our hearts. Touch the hearts of men and women, boys and girls everywhere. Oh God, that we may come saying, what must we do to be saved? Now, Lord, as we stand in the midst of us, these your people. Watch over us, protect us from the environments, protect us from the enemy. Most of all, those that are saved, keep us saved. And we we'll give you all the honor, all of the praise, and all of the glory, they all belong to you. Amen. 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 I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Blessed are the day who die in the Lord. His four. Yea, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor, and their work do follow them. Family members and friends, as we come to the close of our graveside services, let me take just a moment on behalf of the staff and management of Premier Funeral Home to extend our heartfelt condolences. We hope and pray that something has been said or a kind deed has been done to encourage your heart during this hour. Most of all, we pray that we, the staff of Premier, have served you in a way that has been beneficial, supportive, and most of all, professional. And our honest and sincere prayer is, is that God would comfort, strengthen, and keep you. And family members, we want you to know that out of all that we've tried to do to serve you, we want you to know that only heaven can serve you better. Yes, so we say to you today, we commend God to you and say whatever you need him to be during this hour, 
trust him to be there. And the psalm that David tells us over the 27 numbers of psalm and about that 13th verse, he tells those of us who are going through things and we're troubled in our spirit, he said, wait on the Lord mm -hmm. and be of good courage. Yes, sir. Yes. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. God bless you and God keep you as our prayer. Now may the God of peace, who rose again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of eternal Jesus, equip you to do his will and his work. And we give all glory and honor unto God. And I pray now that you be blessed. Until we meet again, may God bless No tears to cry, even if I try. But still my soul refuses to die mm -hmm. One touch will change my life Take me to the King I don't have